breaking news. The Baltimore City Fire Department and just the city as a whole shattered by another tragedy. A city firefighter dies battling a two alarm row home fire. WJZ was on the scene as crews worked to contain that fire off Linden Heights Avenue in northwest Baltimore. As the city mourns this hero, an investigation is now underway to determine how this fire started, while plenty of questions remain unanswered. We do have team coverage for you this morning. Alexis Davila is live from Shock Trauma, breaking down the details of this investigation. Amy Kawada is on your corner with reaction from community. We're going now first to Alexis. And good morning, Alexis. What can you tell us so far? Good morning. We are here at Shock Trauma where some of the firefighters are still being treated for their burns, but unfortunately, one firefighter did not make it. Now, last night, right here, it was a very heartbreaking scene as we saw a large crowd of devastated firefighters and community members gather right behind the ambulance that was carrying the fallen firefighter from right here to the medical examiner's office. Now, the fire chief tells us that this all started around 3.45 yesterday afternoon, where firefighters battled a blaze at the 5200 block of Linden Heights Avenue. Heavy smoke and flames came from the roof of the building, and the fire spread to at least three row homes. A second alarm was then called to bring more firefighters to the scene. Four injured firefighters are now facing varying degrees of burn and are being treated at Shock Trauma and Johns Hopkins Bayview. The fallen firefighter has not been named yet, but is being remembered as a hero. I want to extend my love and my prayers to the families and victims of this tragic event, as well as to the members of the Baltimore City Fire Department. Now, based off a of preliminary investigation, officials believe there were some people who were inside one of the row homes, but they are still determining if the other two were vacant and what caused this fire in the first place. Coming up at 5.30, though, we will hear from Mayor Brandon Scott and his message about firefighters sacrificing their lives to save ours and this person being rep recognized as a hero. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. Alexis, thank you. And unfortunately, this sort of tragedy is not new to city firefighters. We continue our team coverage with Amy Kawada at the scene of that deadly row home fire. And we want to mention, Amy covered a similar tragedy nearly two years ago when three firefighters died while battling this vicious, vacant house fire off Stricker Street. And Amy, how is this weighing on the community here? What do we know so far from witnesses? Yeah, Tim and Sienna, it's definitely never easy to take in the devastating impacts from any fire, let alone knowing that a Baltimore City hero, a firefighter who put himself in front of others while others are running away from a fire, uh, unfortunately paid the ultimate sacrifice and lost his life. And I can tell you out here, the scene still remains active. Uh, crews have been out here throughout the night into this morning, and you can still definitely smell that smokiness in the air. You can see the Fencing is now up as an investigation is now underway here on the 5200 block of Linden Heights Avenue. You can see the extensive damage left behind of the four total row homes impacted by this fire. The initial row home and the neighboring homes that the fire rapidly spread to. You can see the ladder still up there at the end unit row home. Siding of the buildings melted and just charged so hard, knowing the devastating impact this fire has on now left on so many families here. Now, people we spoke with who live and work nearby. Watch the scene unfold from a distance as firefighters worked for hours to put out the massive two alarm fire, which we now know killed one firefighter and injured four others. Again, fire officials did make a note about this particular fire. They say it grew so rapidly, and at this point, they aren't exactly sure why. And while investigators are now looking into what happened here, hearts remain heavy as community members are grappling with this tragedy. WJZ spoke with a woman who works nearby. And walked us through what she saw and heard. I had looked out the window and saw it was just a little bit of smoke. I, by the time I walked from that end of the building to this end, the whole building was gone. The whole back was nothing but flames, and uh, it, it was going pretty high over the over the house. Just seconds, like I never seen a house go so quick. At one point, it sounded like maybe a gas exploded. It was pretty loud. As you can imagine, just such a scary situation out here. Again, the cause of this fire is still under investigation. And per protocol, the ATF and Maryland State Fire Marshals are also assisting in this. 
Of course, make sure you stay with us right here on air and online on WJZ.com as we work to bring you the very latest developments on this fatal row home fire. For now, reporting live in Northwest Baltimore, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.